You're watching Steep in the Woods. I'm Josh. I'm Celia. And this is our daughter, Ivy. Here at Steep in the Woods, we are 100% off-grid. We live on a 14-acre mountaintop homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. Here on Steep in the Woods, we do totally off-grid on a shoestring budget. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today is a, uh, what I would say could be a dangerous thing, not necessarily in respect to the tools, but making the wrong choices on your property and what you introduce to your property can have repercussions that go on forever. However, we have thought about it a whole lot and have made the decision, pulled the trigger. You know, the thing is in the mail, set to be here tomorrow. So today, we're gonna go clear some land and make way for our new river cane. So we're all heading down to the creek. That is our second property line. You know, it goes from creek to creek here with our house at the top as everybody walking down. Um, that's where we're gonna put the river cane. I chose river cane for a lot of different reasons, mainly for crafting, but also because of security, uh, because of privacy, and because of super cool crafting. So going down the hill. All right, we got hurry. Oh, remind me to show you, Celia. I found something really cool. Okay. Gotta remember where it is. Yeah, we're looking for a the top of a pine. It's got something really cool that I want Celia to see. I know she's gonna want me to move it. If I thought about it, I'd have brought a shovel, but this is more of like a big round trip. We're starting down at the bottom. We're going to just clear out, not much, just trying to, to, to mark where it's going to go, do a little bit of clearing, and uh, uh, open up a little bit of sunshine for these new cane plants. This is actually the site where we're gonna put our A-frame Airbnb. It's covered in this crow's, crow's foot. Um, it's really one of the most beautiful sites on the property. Just wasn't where I wanted to put my house. See the way, one of these days, A-frame Airbnb, like somewhere right around where I am now. Uh, you know, hey, uh, if you don't have a lot of money, you can come. I just put you to work, you know. Discounts can be given uh, for people who bring tools and whatnot. And, uh, you know, heavy duty workers here. Oh, it's over here. All right, I'm gonna follow y'all, and then I'm, we'll come backtrack and look at look at this. Bye. Bye. Someone's got her sword. <laughs> that was her Yule gift. All right, hey, come over here. Look at this, and then we'll circle back down uh, that way. There's something really cool I saw. I walked this the other day looking for bow wood. And uh, to my knowledge, it is the only one on the property. And it's small enough to move. I think so it's going to really, really dig it. All right, so look around just see if you see anything. You'll have to do like 360. You're within about 10, 10 feet of it. On the ground? Well, it's a plant. Cold, warm, hot. Holly? A holly tree. Sweet. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What the heck's it doing like in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> yes. yes, that is uh... a. That's for a snake. That's for a tree to be you need a snake. I have no idea what that's doing here. I guess maybe a bird, you know, got some seeds and put a dump right there or something. Uh, but it is really awesome. Both of us really, really like holly for everything that it symbolizes and whatnot. Um, and I'm going to have to move that one. I'm going to have to move it over to the house. Let it be our symbol tree or something. But either way, we're most of the way down the hill going to the creek. Uh, we got our saws. I got my axe, my knife, you know, just general toolage. And uh, we're going to clear out a little bit of land in preparation for planting these river cane tomorrow. Yeah. 
We are at the creek. This is our one of our property lines, so we own this half of it. Um, that's how a lot of these older properties are laid out. And now we're just going to get a rough idea, eyeball, where do we want to put these? We have a hundred, a hundred of them coming. So, and if there's anything near where, where we want to put it, we're just going to clear out just a little bit of scrub and a little bit of brush. My plan is to go all along this creek, uh, uh, our entire prop property line. Um, this will make a wonderful addition for us, and it is native. It's native to our area. It's not from Asia. It's none of that jazz. Um, it's our traditional river cane. Uh, it'll give us a lot of good building ma materials. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, it'll give us privacy and security, you know, because, I mean, you, you ever tried to get through a mess of river cane? It kind of, it sucks, you know. Best thing to do is just go around it. So, just. You like it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Stay back. Yeah. yeah. This is a good straight uh, laurel stave here. Uh, laurels are very slow going. It's very hard and it's relatively springy. Uh, I might just try to make a bow out of this one. Um, I'm at that stage, you know, obviously uh, uh, being an intelligent person, I understand the practice, practice, practice. So I'm just making a bunch uh, and honestly breaking them. Uh, you know, you, you learn more when something breaks than you do when something works. So I'm making bows and breaking them and uh, uh, trying to deduce why and make the next one better. So, hey, we're gonna try some laurel. Why not? What are you doing, girl? Um, you understand the way. The way is going. Are you good? Yeah. Don't go near the water. I'm on. Okay. I'm gonna buy a knife. So the objective is not really to clear the land, just to open up sunshine. Um, so I'm just cutting these, letting them fall. That way, hopefully, there'll be a little bit of sun here, at least enough to get our cane established. Okay. Once it starts to take off, it will create its own sunlight via crowding out smaller things such as this. You gonna help me? Funny. What are you doing back here? She was pushing on your butt. Oh. Hey, well, I don't know if, you know, why she was helping. Yeah. I love Max. Yeah. Alright, now step, step on it. Once you're mostly through it, you can push it over. What? Once you're mostly through it, you can push it over.
Celia and I have be peaced out back to the house, not only because it's getting cold, but because it's getting dark and it's time for supper. So I'm assuming while I'm down here continuing to work, I'm working my way up to the house, uh, that they're going to have supper ready. And by the time we get there, it'll be warm and, uh, and there'll be food to eat. Um, also, you have to be very careful with planting bamboo because it can become a problem. That's why I chose a native species of this particular type. It only likes wet soil and most of our property is so steep that it's not wet. So it will not work its way towards the house. It'll just hang out down here by the creek, which is perfectly fine. We call this area the field. It's not quite like a, 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 a picturesque field here, but it's the closest thing that we have. We've always wanted to utilize this. Here lately, uh, my original idea was to do something like goats, um, but it's really far away from the house. I'd have to get a guard dog, and there's just a lot involved with doing a, a, a livestock animal this far away from the house. But I have been intrigued by the uh, possibility of planting black walnuts. Now, black walnuts you can get cheaply. Given enough time, the wood is extraordinarily valuable. However, it takes a long time. So it may not be something that I get, that I or my wife get to enjoy in our lives, but it may be a hedge for Ivy. Not only uh, 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 for financial burden, but it may also secure the ownership of this property for future generations. Were one of them to get into a, fi a financial bind, they wouldn't have to sell the property, they would just have to sell the walnuts. Either way, that's not something that's gonna happen right now, but it is an interesting thing that I've been mulling over in my uh, mind. I try to, I try not to get super fixated on today. You got to think ahead, and you got to make plans. You got to have all kinds of plans. You got to have a plan for supper. You got to have a plan for tomorrow, next week, next year. But you also got to have a couple for like 30 years away. Either way, I'm gonna keep on working, and we will see y'all tomorrow when we get these plants. It's day two. We already went to the post office box and came back with our 
giant package of river cane here. This came from Tennessee nur Nursery. They were absolutely the cheapest place to get these. We were able to get these for less than a dollar a piece. So obviously I haven't opened the uh, deal yet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and see what we came out with. I'm expecting them to be super tiny. Um, obviously, you know, for less than a dollar a piece. Well, this is a this is a surprise. This is very very surprising to me. They look a little bit sad, but obviously it's winter here. These are evergreen, but you know, to be in the middle of winter, which is which would be their dormant stage, even if they don't lose their leaves, to be dug up, packaged, mailed, <laughs> all of that jazz. I expect them to look a little bit haggard, um, but this is much much. Uh, uh, better than I thought it was going to be. I was picturing little things like this. Uh, wow, I really like it. All right. So obviously they look a little sad because of just that's just inherent in the shipping process and the season in which we bought them. But they are way bigger than I than I pictured. Thank you, Tennessee Nursery. I mean, you know, they didn't like give these to me. I had to buy them. But uh, 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 you know, thank you for surprising me with the quality of these plants and especially the size of them. Now all we got to do is throw these suckers in the ground. I'm planting two in each hole to give us twice of the chances that there will be at least one living in any given spot. The, other, the only other thing I can uh, 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 point out is that when doing this, I'm looking up far more than I'm looking down to try to see where there are pockets of sunlight. Also, I elected to bring my little hand mattock here. I really, really like it. It's solid stainless steel. Uh, just seems really, really tough. 
in lieu of bringing a shovel because down here by the creek I'm going to experience way more rocks and roots than I will uh, 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 something that could use a shovel. So, Matic, two plants in each hole and look up for where the sun is. So I'm about halfway done now, but only about a third or maybe even less of the distance that I want to span. So at this point, I'm going to take stock of how many we have in this uh, box and start to parcel them out. Um, I put more in this area behind me because this is the area where it's most likely to grow. Once you get an established you know, section of it, you can cut off and move them. That's also a lot of what we're going to do on our website is make cuttings once I get a greenhouse built um, make cuttings and sell seedlings and you know a lot of live plants because you can do that um, a lot of times you can't you know what you can sell is very very limited to uh, uh, laws but you can sell live plants without anything you know as long as you check out and make sure it's not a noxious plant in a certain state or something I mean laws vary slightly um, but either, but either way, what I'm, what I'm getting at is that, uh, is that once you have an established patch, you can start to, to remove some and move them or sell them. Um, and uh, 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 so I wanted to do as many here as possible because um, this is the most likely where it'll grow. However, it's where I want them the least. I mean, I want them all along you know, this, this line, but I really want them from here up as to add privacy to the house. So behind me is where I planted the last one. And you know what? It's that time again. It's getting dark, it's getting cold, and it's time for supper. Uh, it took two full days worth of work, but it was very, very rewarding work. There's nothing like the feeling you get when you plant a bunch of plants. Uh, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do stuff like this here on our off-grid property. If you liked what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the channel, hit that other button. If you want to help support the project, there are links below. Until next time here, Steve in the Woods.